Hello, plant friends. We have had the pleasure of touring Cyril's place. Cyril is a well-known plant Instagram influencer and also a huge Hypersia collector. Hypersia? Am I saying that right? <laughs> well, anyways, here's a little care guide for those interested in these plants as well as those who know how to pronounce their names. <laughs> Enjoy. Let's talk about, ooh, let's talk about this guy. The whole Persia. The Persia. A mm -hmm. lot of people have been wondering, have been getting into these mm -hmm. and sort of like wondering how to care for them. It seems like you have quite a few varieties. Yeah. You I have this have one. You have this guy. Now. And then you have them hanging yeah. on your wall right here. So how do you how do you care for these? So most of them are in an upside down planter that I got from, you know, Amazon. Right. And then the <laughs> substrates are in moss. So if they're in upside down planters like this, they're still in sphagnum moss. So okay. there's actually a clay reservoir on top and then you stick the moss in between and you put the roots of your hooperizia, cover it with moss and then cover the moss at the bottom so that whenever it soaks up the water, it will still hold it up. Um, and then you just refill the water on top. There's a meter, actually, uh, a green meter that would stick up. Uh, I see. Once the so you water, water is full. So you water from the top and you just kind mm -hmm. of like hang it, hang it yeah. there. And how fast do these guys grow? Like how long have you had something like this? This one I've had since 2019. Yeah, this uh, one's 2019. Ooh. This one is 2018. Mm -hmm. No, 19. Too. I think they, I got them at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, this one was just like this long when I got it and then it started to, to, to yeah, blow fan up. like this. I was, I'm looking at the bottom and how come it looks like so different. Yeah, you know? because they're still closed. Um, oh, I when see. When they mature a little bit, that's when the leaves open. See, this one is the transition of like oh. from closed leaves to, to open. Yeah. Oh, so as they mature, they, mm -hmm. they open up. Very, very cool plant. Wow. Wow, wow. And I like the, I definitely like the structure. Yeah. This is like a, you know, it reminds me of a more, a fancier, uh, more sophisticated, like, spider plant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I really love the trailing plants. I love the Asian epiphytes. Right, Maybe right. something about it that just reminds me of home. Oh, so, man, it's just, it's yeah, I really so gravitate cool. towards them. It reminds so me of cool. memories when you're, like, in your grandma's house. And they have these in trees growing naturally there. Yeah. Very cool. Do you think they're very... You, would you consider them easy? For me, yes, because of the climate and the way that I am. I tend to overwater things so I can keep them moist. But others struggle because when you have four seasons, humidity just like drops like oh. that during winter. And they suffer a bit. Although I, they are doing okay during winter. But I do notice like they're less happy even on a moderate 40 to 60 weather here in Monterey. So would these, how well would these plants do in your living room where the humidity is less? Oh, actually I had them, like this one was in the living room before. I have a smaller version of the pneumolaroides here too. They used to be in the living room, but when they got too long for mm. the shelves, got I it. had to like move them so that they could like trail better here. But they were still doing okay. Yeah, they were okay all year round. And okay. Even back then, they were just in soil. Oh, I see. So, so, um, so your living room is probably, what, if it's 70 here, your living room's like 50, 40, Yeah, on 50? a normal, yeah, all throughout the year, I would say like 40, 50 all throughout without a humidifier. So yeah. I only have a humidifier here. Right. Well, yeah, I think you, you benefit from being near the ocean. Mm -hmm. You live like, what, probably like a mile, two miles? Like, it's just there across the street, actually. <laughs> <laughs>